Hey guys, welcome to the other 167. I'm Brandon and we have another episode for you uh, titled Memories can only live when you give it power. Memories can only live when you give it power. Now I thought I'll touch I'll touch on memories. When I say memories, I'm uh, addressing uh, the not so good memories in our lives that can weigh us down. Now uh, there are a lot of good memories in our life which we cherish and uh, those are memories that we've had with our near and dear ones our loved ones our families our parents you know our good healthy relationships but there are some memories in our lives that we don't want to delve into or we don't want to sort of carry those memories each and every day especially when we know that those memories are not really keeping us healthy emotionally healthy and i'm referring to those memories that are uh, uh, not that are in in some sense weighing us down that are not giving us the kind of joy that we ought to have in the lord and uh, uh so we will touch on those memories which we have to let go or we have to overcome and we have to you know uh receive what god really has for us uh so th- this will obviously be part 1 uh memories are events that no longer live but can live or take over us when we give it power so uh memories are simply uh events that have happened in our lives uh where uh, we sometimes uh, regret that those things even happened for that matter we wish that those things never happened because those memories are somehow you know consuming our joy they are somehow weighing us down and somehow they are not sort of giving us some kind of abundant feeling you know it is it is weighing us down and these memories can be memories uh, that we've had with people or that are part of relationships that were not according to the will of the lord uh, or relationships that were unhealthy or relationships that were uh, you know that things went south and you knew that it was not from god uh but somehow those memories are giving you that very temporary refuge or comfort but then again when you know that that person um is no longer in your life that's when you start to despair you know so in that sense uh memories can be very uh are are not the healthy memories that god would like for us to celebrate uh not only relationships i i think even it, it would even be sometimes bad memories uh with a loved one uh which would have impacted your uh, life in, in in a very drastic way for example it's just an example you would have said or would have gotten into an argument with a parent uh, in such a way uh, has in such a way that you've never used those uh, that sort of language with them before and now that has really really impacted your life with your parents of that particular parent and so you don't want you wish that that thing never happened and you wish that uh, you know you you grew out of it or you outgrew it and somehow it has been carried every single day in your life in such a way that it's weighing you down and it's not it's not allowing you to go into the chapter that into the chapter where god wants you to go uh so uh i'm i'm going to touch on a verse from the bible in philippians 3:13 it says uh, brethren i count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before so uh paul uh in 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 paul's case obviously he he had he went through a lot otherwise and his challenge or his challenges were more of uh the adversity he faced when he was preaching the gospel when he in, in his mission or in his calling or in his purpose and uh uh there were there, he had reasons to sort of delve into it and to have some kind of regret or to feel that god was somehow not in favor of what he was doing or probably God wasn't on his side altogether but then he still uh he still encourages us by saying that I uh, I forget those things that have gone behind and rightfully so we ought to forget those things that have gone behind because those things will never come back the very fact that they go behind you it simply means that they will not come back in your life and it could be relationships as well where they just don't matter and somehow 
those memories which are dead and gone and uh, those memories which are not uh, worthwhile remembering rather and living or cherishing would be those memories that would weigh you down so uh, philippians 313 would be a good verse to encourage you and uh, uh, i hope this blesses you we will i'll get back to you in part 2 where uh, i'll be touching on uh, uh, the i'll be going a little deeper into what these memories are and what they can do and and how they impact our lives as usual i will end this with a song and i hope this song blesses your week have a lovely week ahead god bless Why?